Over the next 20 years, engineers across the country, inspired by Trevithick, tried their hand at building steam locomotives for their tramways. At one colliery, Killingworth in County Durham, the chief engineer built a series of machines that culminated in locomotion number one. The key to the success of this machine was that its designer, George Stevenson, was the man who finally tackled the problem of the rails. Cast iron was made, as the name suggests, by pouring molten iron into a cast. But with a high carbon content, the finished product is very brittle, which means although it's strong under compression, it's very weak under tension. Great for bridge supports, but when a cast iron rail has to support a locomotive, this happens. So Stevenson turned to another type of iron, one that was much less brittle thanks to a lower carbon content. Worked, or wrought, iron. The line took four years to build, with 48 foot high embankments, stationary engines to help trains up the steeper inclines, and a stone railway bridge spanning the River Skern. Meanwhile, Stevenson and his son, Robert, set up a new company to build a new locomotive in time for the opening of the line. On the 25th of September, 1825, Stevenson's locomotion was ready for its first big test. The grand opening of the Stockton to Darlington railway line. This engine is an extremely innovative evolution of Trevithick's first high-pressure locos. Instead of one, there are two cylinders, positioned vertically inside the boiler. Using two cylinders increases the power of the engine, and they're designed to operate out of phase. One is always half a stroke behind the other. This prevents the locomotive stopping with both pistons at the top of their stroke, which would make starting up again very difficult. It also does away with the need for a flywheel. The other big step forward is that Trevithick's gear wheels are gone. This was the first locomotive to use coupling rods to transfer power to the wheels, all four of them. Although she took some passengers, locomotion was built primarily to haul coal, and in that she was a success.